minutes to go in the national final, and they're standing on the fence here watching the concluding stages. Anthony Bear, first time, wins the Australian final. Fireworks on the infield. Second place to Brad McClure. Ash Media's coverage of the Australian Street Stock title is proudly brought to you by Speedway Sedans Australia. Wayne Racing in heat number 14. They're four wide down into turn one going clockwise. And there's a literal traffic jam. They're nearly five wide. Yellows have come on. And it wasn't necessary for me to choke on my caramello koala. It's the first thing I've eaten all afternoon. What have you got? You've got uh, caramello koalas a, up there? We did have a caramello koala which I scoffed down and nearly choked on as the race started. but. <laughs> The stewards chucked on the yellow, so we'll do it again. Just checking the radar for rain. There's nothing on the radar at all, but uh, the sky doesn't lie as the green lights come on. A better dispatch up into turn number one. They're only three wide for the moment in heat number 14. And leading them out at turn number two is the 55 of Matthew Maynard. Whoops, 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 whoops. A very big rollover. It's gone over four or five times and Megan Forrest has tumbled upside down. After hitting the fence, the car has rolled back down to the curb and we have ourselves a stoppage. And uh, that was a heavy crash, first of all, into the concrete wall about 30 metres away from where Megan has ended up. And uh, has tumbled over about three or four times And Fortunately, husband Darren Forrest was sitting in his car there uh, and had to watch all that. He's just asking, is he allowed to actually go over and check on his wife? Uh, which I think he's been given the big thumbs up for that one. Very spectacular and uh, unfortunately, not of her own doing. Got turned around there and rode out a big one. Certainly did. It was uh, three wide, it was four wide the first time, three wide the second time on the restart and uh, Megan is getting out of the car ladies and gentlemen how about putting your hands together for Megan Forrest she's waving and clapping and it's good to see that uh, she's walked out of the car unaided and she'll just be checked over by the ambulance officials but uh, a ride on the wild side as we go down to Brett Jason she's smiling getting out of the car, smiling and laughing. That's probably uh, not even as big as some of the tumbles she's had off her uh, show horses, I suspect. Yeah, well, hopefully the damage isn't too great and uh, she'll have plenty of time to repair it between, between heats, that's for sure. And Maynard, Banzema, Mark Gartner. with uh, a 10 cars to go around on this restart. <laughs> Crutchley and Maynard will lead them into the main straight. Bansma and John Riley now on row two. Green lights come on, they're away. Good start. But Crutchley and Maynard left a gap. You could drive a London bus through it and uh, Richard Bansma was the London bus. But the London buses sometimes aren't as quick as they used to be and driving right around the outside was John Riley to take the lead. So Riley will lead Bansima into the main straight. Back in third place is Gartner. Fourth place is uh, the 55 of Matthew, the 155 of Matthew Maynard. Uh, also there is Chris Stewart. Back then to the 74 of Lenny Bates. Daniel Amaduri from Western Australia is in the uh, lead group as well. So move out of turn four. Out in front is car number 44, John Riley. Then Richard Banzema. Stewart on the inside, on the outside, it's Mark Gardner. Mark Gardner goes wide, here comes Lenny Bates and Matthew Maynard. And Daniel Amaduri back there in seventh place. Uh, then back to Vaughan Webber, Peter Crutchley and Ricky Stewart. Up into the top turn, Pitts Bend. They're three wide for fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. 
as they move out of turn number two and down the back straight. The race leader is John Riley by a car length over Banzema. Third place is Chris Stewart. Couple of car lengths to Lenny Bates and Matthew Maynard. Uh, also there is uh, the 125 of Mark Gardner and Daniel Amaduri. Out of turn two and down the back straight. Bansom has taken the lead. Down into turn number three. Here comes Stewart now. Chris Stewart comes underneath of Riley. They're both behind Bansma. And also there is Lenny Bates. Up into fifth place, Gardner. Then Amaduri running very wide was Matthew Maynard. And the yellow lights have come on. Matthew Maynard's down there somewhere in turn number four. Gets himself mobile now. And we've got ourselves a restart. Bates, Gartner and Amaduri to the line, the green lights are on their way. And a good start by John Riley as they move out of turn number two and down the back straight. Here come the challengers, they're three wide. Bates, Bansma and on the inside, Stewart. Nearly four of them across the track as they come into the main straight. It wasn't quite able to work and the loser out of that was Stewart, he's gone back to fifth. Riley just ahead of Bates, Banzema, then Gartner, Stewart and Amaduri. Out into the main straight they come and Lenny Bates is the leader. Takes the lead from John Riley, back to Banzema. Fourth place Gartner, then in fifth place Stewart. Daniel Amaduri made a hash of turn two as a lap car is uh, uh, going slowly up against the fence and Gartner ran into him as they moved down the main straight. We're at one car at the back of the field has lost a wheel, well not quite, the wheel is hanging off of car here in the main straight, it is car 10, car number 10 of Vaughan Webber is on three wheels really, here's the reader through, Bates from Bansma and Riley, back to Chris Stewart, Gartner and Amaduri. Bates getting away, Lenny Bates in car number 74, your leader. Three to go. Banzema. Back then to uh, Chris Stewart and John Riley. Back then to the 25, 125 of Mark Gardner. Daniel Amaduri back there in sixth place. Further back to 155, Matthew Maynard. Out of turn four, they come again. Smoke coming out of Chris Stewart with two to go. Bates the leader. Banzema. Stewart. Fourth place is Riley. Gartner gets underneath, so head down the back straight. The 125 of Mark Gartner. So move out of turn four. One to go. The white flag is out for Lenny Bates. Banzema. Stewart with an ailing engine. 125 Mark Gartner. John Riley and then Amaduri. But it's going to be Lenny Bates first time. So he comes out of turn number four. The Victorian. Carnival 74 first time. Lenny Bates from. Bans him up, a run to the line, on the outside, Gartner gets there. Chris Stewart fourth, John Riley, Daniel Amaduri. Back then to Matthew Maynard and Peter Crutchley. No time for the race due to the stoppage. The margin was 1.969 and the fast lap was by Lenny Bates, a 17.476. It's Lenny Bates, Richard Banzema and Mark Gartner, your first three in heat number 14. Drive by Lenny Bates. Bad luck for Richard Bansman, who's looking like he's going to get two from two. But the restart caught him out, as does happen from time to time. But uh, a storming drive by Lenny Bates Jr., mate. That was a nice drive from the back. Yeah, um, I was pretty lucky with the restart, I think. Um, I, I think you were pretty lucky to get through the, two, the first two turns on those first two laps. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, a bit unlucky about Megan and that. Um, hopefully she's all right. She's fine. Yep. Um, yeah, just lucky to survive, and as you said, you can't not afford to miss, not finish a heat, so. And to come from the back and win it, that's a bonus. I'm wrapped. You can't do much more than that, can you? No, nah, I'm stoked. It's got to give you a little bit of confidence for the next one. Yeah, it does, yeah. I'm off the front the next one, so hopefully we can make another win. <laughs> exactly. Well done. Let's put your hands together for Lenny Bates Jr. Storming drive from the back of the pack.